Hi everyone, this is Sandy. I'm excited to get started on the tutorial for my pop-up Christmas mini album using Authentique's Nostalgia Paper Collection. The supplies that you will need, you'll want to have the 8.5 by 11 chipboard. You'll need at least two or three pieces. You'll need quarter inch score tape. Of course you're going to need the art glitter glue. This is the best glue and you can order it from countrycraftcreations.com. If you have the score tape sheets. These are great for your covers. You can use glue instead. And then of course the paper collection which is the 12 by 12 authentic nostalgia. Now for my designer kit I did get three of each pattern. I can't tell you exactly how many I used because it depends on the patterns that you like. You may cut more of one than the other. If you order the paper pad, the 12 by 12 paper pad from Country Craft Creations, you will receive two of each pattern. So there may be some patterns that you like more than others and I would suggest you order at least one or two extras of those. Uh, I am not going to be using the animal prints that come in this collection for this project. I'll be using those in my second design team project for Country Craft Creation. So I'm just going through and looking at all the papers, but you will be just using the Santa uh, traditional Christmas papers. I love these colors. These are the animal ones. I'm going to set these aside, but aren't they cute? Look at the little cats and kittens and puppies and the stamps. This is really cute, so I'll, I'm excited to also work with those later on in a different project and different tutorial. I was just looking at these with the red bones and I thought let me see if there's cats. I think this is all dogs on this paper but it's really really cute. Maybe there's a cat. Okay and then of course this is the Christmas tree so we'll be using this one in my album. I'll use a little bit of the newsprint. Um, I really like the one on the back side which is the Christmas tags. So I did not have stickers in my design team kit. So if you have stickers, you can certainly use those in your project or you can cut out tags like I did for decorating. I'm going to set this um, image piece aside. We're going to be doing some fussy cutting for this project to create our pop-ups. And I like the red for the reindeer. So you also want to make sure you pick out your papers for your cover and set those aside so you don't cut those. For your pages, flaps, and pockets, you will need at least six of the 12 by 12 cardstock. I'm using the black artisan cardstock from Country Craft Creations. So you'll need at least six, and you'll probably want at least a couple of more for your photo mats, etc. And uh, I also used uh, a couple of sheets of red, the barn red, and a couple of sh a sheet at least of uh, craft, and then one of the ivory or natural color for the snowflakes on the front of the cover. So let's get started. First we're going to take one of the sheets that have these images on it and we're going to start fussy cutting. Now I'm using small scissors. I like to use the EK Success small precision scissors. I find these the easiest to use to do fussy cutting. Uh, some people like to use manicure scissors. I find those too small. They hurt my hand and they're hard to uh, manipulate for me on the paper. So what you're going to do is you're going to like lightly cut around and then go back around again and cut and leave as much of a border around the image as you want. You don't have to try to get down in there and cut every little horn or antler out here on this image. Um, just leave a border what you think you want around it and we will be matting these to black cardstock to uh, give them some strength, some d uh, double support. So go ahead and cut out all your images that you want to use. I know I used this one, and then I used the little girl with the dog, a couple of the Santas, the reindeer with the packages, and the little girl with the tree, and the Santa in the circle is the one that I used for the front cover. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up now to save some time. For your base pages, you will take the 12 inch by 6 inch pieces you just cut and you will score each of these. There's four of them at 6 inches and then fold in half and burnish. This creates your base page. So you'll have four of these. We're making four page sets. 
so all four should be scored in half at six inches and then folded and burnished in half. Next to create the sleeves that will attach to the base pages, you should have four that are cut six inch by seven inch. Put the seven inch side into your scoreboard and score at a half inch and then at six and a half inch on all four pieces. Then go ahead and fold and burnish those fold lines toward each other. This does create the sleeves that will attach to each base page. Once you have all your sleeves scored and folded, take your base page, and I like to use my mat and scoreboard to line things up. Place the fold to the right. This helps me make sure I'm putting it on the right side position. Add glue to your hinges. I just go ahead and put glue on both of them. And then you're going to attach the sleeve to the top and to the bottom of the base page. The fold is to your right of the base page. Make sure it's to your right and just use your scoreboard to help you line it up straight and make sure that it, the fold of the hinge is on the top edge of the page and then the fold of the bottom side should be lining up to the cut edge of the bottom of the page. And do this for all four pages. You'll assemble, assemble them all the same. Make sure you burnish wipe off any excess glue. Burnishing helps to make sure that the glue has stuck down and that you're, you have a good seal. And then go ahead and inside reach in with a spatula or your bone folder to make sure that there's no glue stuck down. So this is your sleeve. This is where we're going to attach a hinge. And then you will have on two of the page sets where you can put in photo, sli uh, photo mats into the sleeves. So those are our base pages. Now we're ready to work on our little pockets. Now we're not going to attach these to the pages just yet, but we're going to go ahead and uh, get them ready. So you should have four that are seven inches by two inches. And we're going to score these on the seven inch side at six and a half and at a half inch. Then you will turn it, score the two inch side at just a half inch. So go ahead and do that on all four of these seven inch by two inch pieces that you cut for your pockets. You have one for each page set. Next, take your small scissors and on these corners, on the bottom edge where your fold lines created two corners, miter cut those corners out on your pockets. You'll do this on all four pocket pieces and then go ahead and fold and burnish the score lines. This is a basic pocket construction so all your fold lines should go the same direction so you have three flaps on the back side of your pocket. And then once you've done all four, go ahead and set them aside. We will not be attaching them at this time. We don't attach until we're patterning the pages and we will be working on each page set, adding pattern paper and some of the decorating as we're assembling our pages. So this concludes the um, tutorial for video one and watch for video two. And see I have all these done here. So we're gonna go ahead and set those aside. So check back for video two, bye-bye. <music>